Now, I think we all deserve a proper lunch, particularly if you're grafting like this lot here at this North Yorkshire Steelworks. They need something hearty, so I've got a plan that will put an old wife's tail to the test. Rumour has it that in the late 1800s, in the golden age of steel, workers in Pittsburgh would take a piece of meat with them to work and then put it on the steel as it came out of the hot furnace to cook it for their lunch. And I'm here to see if it actually works. It's not Pittsburgh, but this traditional old metal works is about as close as I'm gonna get. Hi Andy. Hi Tom. How are you, you all right? Fine, thanks, sir. This is an incredible looking place. Yeah. It's got an amazing yeah. smell to it, you know, that kind of hard working metal smell. That's dirt. Is that what dirt it is? Dirt and sweat. 30, yeah, 30 sweat. years of dirt and sweat. Sounds perfect for cooking in. <laughs> <laughs> now, lunch on a normal day would probably be a ropey old sandwich. So I want to give these boys a lunch to remember. A proper steak sandwich cooked on the hot steel. Oh, cool, blimey. How hot yeah. is that? Oh, about, about 1,400 degrees. Yeah. Centigrade. So if you're going to be working here, we better get you some gear on, some right. safety gear. Some safety kit. Yeah, Let's yeah, go. I think so. Sounds good to me. Not quite my usual chef whites, but then this is no ordinary kitchen. Lunch. Lunch. I'm gonna take me gloves off. Chef's tongs. Chef's tongs. These are cool oh, tools. Yes. Time to get cooking. Right, I'm gonna need that. What I need you to do, come on boss man, uh, is peel me just a few of these cloves of garlic. You can get it all grated on this little thing here. You like garlic? No. <laughs> In that case, I want extra. First things first, the meat. Nicknamed black and blue because of its charred outside and rare inside, the Pittsburgh black and blue steak uses the cheaper tail end of the fillet, hammered out to about one centimeter thick. Doesn't look like a hammer to me. Yeah. Why don't we use a power hammer? The power hammer. Power hammer. Anything that's called a power hammer, I want to have a go on. Yeah, Good luck. I told you this was no ordinary kitchen. <laughs> I got, I'm a little bit nervous. All right. Put, put Left your foot. Heel, heel down. Yeah. And then keep here that, keep going a bit harder. Go on, a bit more. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. We're going to rock through these steaks. Next. Oh, that's, hey. that's perfect. One blow. <laughs> got it now. I wouldn't bet on that. <laughs> this one's for you, Chief, right? <laughs> Perhaps stick to a rolling pin in your own kitchen. I tell you what, I've just had the most fun you can have with a hammer. <laughs> well, I hope you clean the hammer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK, back to what I know best. I'm going to cover my steak in a quick, fiery rub. These are dried chilli flakes. You like chilli? Yeah. 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 You're not into this cooking no, malarkey, no, are you? I'm a bit of a boiled egg man. A bit honest. of a boiled egg man. Well, I'm hoping to convert you. Add in some salt, oregano and bay leaves. Stick it all in. A bit of mace, some garlic and some cracked black pepper. And this is all big intense flavors for big intense cooking which is what we're going to do here do you reckon the steak will stick to the steel i don't know i have no idea we'll see there's only one way to find out chuck in some vegetable oil and give it a good mix and it's ready for frying i'm cooking this on specially adapted steel but take it from me best not try this yourself a frying pan will do the job now that is what i'm talking about oh, boys yeah. so that how hot is that right now 800, you reckon, by 800 yeah, degrees. I think I'll leave the hot stuff to the experts, but I've got a crowd of hungry steel workers to feed, so this had better work. <laughs> Let's keep our fingers oh, crossed. Yeah, that's yeah. Up the plate's big enough. Hopefully... Oh my god, that looks. <laughs> okay, so we have fire. Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> Yeah. This right. is like the best cooking ever. <laughs> this has got to be better than a soggy sandwich. Yeah. 
All right. Well, it's definitely black on the outside, but is it blue in the middle? Oh, look at that. Everyone likes their steak nice and pink. We must see. I've got to be honest with you, this has worked out way better than I hoped it would. Black and blue steak. Tell me what you think. Get your chops around that. All right then, Andy, how is it? Yeah, it's actually, all right. Yeah, it is. It's better than all right. Well, I've won over the boiled egg man. What about the other lads? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. I never thought I'd like raw, mate. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. There you go. Yeah. You test the iron. <laughs> oh, steel? Steel? I think that's a result.